Uh, welcome friends, as I'm here with a friend of mine, Mr. James, I started meditating the Word of God. In this cool environment as I'm meditating the Word of God, it's amazing to see the power of God comes in a special way to bring healing. Healing to the people who are possessed by the impure spirits. As I travel around different places in this United States of America, I see people possessed with different kinds of impure spirits. Here in the book of Mark, chapter 1, verse 25, 20, Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verse 21 says, They went to Cabernet, and when the Sabbath came, Jesus went into the synagogue and began to teach. The people were amazed at his teaching because he taught them as one who had authority, not as the teachers of the law. Just then a man in their synagogue who was possessed by an impure spirit cried out, What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. And verse 25, Jesus says, be quiet, said Jesus, friendly. Come out of him. The impure spirit shook the man violently and came out of him with a shriek. So the impure spirits, you know what they do? They drag people to commit impure activities. Today, the internet you know, is bringing such a horrible devastation to people. It is so good provided we use it in a proper way but there are you know wide variety of people are addicted to pornography and uh, life became impure mind became dam mind damaged and their thinking became futile and they don't know what they're doing impurity starts in the brain in the mind so the devil knows where to attack. So the impure you know, spirits destroy people. Because the Bible says the devil comes only to steal, kill and destroy. That's what doing. Today, people are living in luxurious palaces. And God has blessed with so many rich environments. But people don't acknowledge God as a sovereign. Impurity became a part of life. There is no difference between purity and impurity. So people's thinking became futile. That's the reason we see a lot of mental problems, psychological problems, trauma, sleepless night. It's all because of the sin. Sin is a terrible master. It finds a willing servant. Here in this book, Mark chapter 1, verse 21, we read this man was possessed by the impure spirits. And those spirits have been tormenting him. You know, the impure spirits torment and they destroy. The devil comes only to steal, kill and destroy. And Jesus has the power to heal any source of impurity. And you will get power from above to, to get transformation in your mind and focus on God and focus on something that is worthwhile in the kingdom of values. May God bless you and I encourage you come to God, read the Bible and trust in Him.